So, Modern Warfare and Warzone is an extremely dark game for whatever reason, and for me personally, I have trouble seeing people in like dark corners and stuff like that, especially when I'm playing Warzone. Like, there'll be times I'm in Superstore and I'll literally be ADS'd on someone and we'll be in the middle of a gunfight and I'll just lose track of them, they'll just like blend into the environment. And maybe that's just a me thing, but I found out about NVIDIA filters the other day and I've been messing around with them a little bit and they've helped my visibility out a lot. So currently I have the filter turned off right here. Now, if I go ahead and turn it on, you're gonna see the difference here. Everything just like brightens up, looks more vibrant and colorful and the game just looks a lot better. It's a lot easier to see and spot enemies and I'm not losing people in the middle of gunfights now anymore. So when I found out about these NVIDIA filters, I went ahead and I looked up some tutorials on YouTube of like the best filters to like improve visibility and all that. And I noticed in a lot of those videos, all the settings were like super bright and washed out and the game just looked bad. So I went ahead and made my own filters and I'm going to give them to you guys today. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to turn on the filters and install GeForce Experience if you don't know how to do so already. But one thing I should note is that you will lose some performance by turning these filters on. So currently with the filter turned on, I'm getting about 145 to 150 frames just kind of staring at this wall here. And if we go ahead and turn it off, I am getting around 175 to 180 ish which is a pretty big difference but for me personally i thought the trade-off in performance was worth it to be able to actually see what i'm looking at in this game because that has caused me to die a lot of times in this game so if the drop in performance is worth it to you definitely try out these settings and let me know what you guys think and i'm going to show you guys how to get all the filters set up but before we do that i want to show you guys some comparisons in an actual warzone game so i'm going to roll those here quick and then we'll get into setting up the actual filters So yeah, as you can see there, it definitely helps with visibility a lot and it just makes the game look a lot better. But for those who don't know how to get NVIDIA filters, all you have to do is open up your internet browser and then search for GeForce Experience and it'll be the first link right here. I'll also put it down in the description for you guys to make it a little easier. And then once you're on the website, you'll just click download now. And once it's done, just run it and we'll go from there. Now that you have it installed, just double click to open it, obviously. And it'll bring you to this menu here. And it might make you make an account. Um, if it does, just do that really quick. And then once that's all done, you're just going to click this little gear icon in the top right. And then on the left side here, make sure you have general selected. And then towards the bottom left here, you're going to see in-game overlay. So just check this right here to turn it on. And then once you do that, you're good to go. Just open up the game and then we'll get the settings from there. Okay, now that we got the game opened up, all you have to do is press Alt-Z on your keyboard. And this menu will pop up here. And then you're just going to click on Game Filter. And it'll bring this menu up right here. So by default, it should be turned off. And you're going to have three different styles here. These are just all your different presets that you can create. So just click on a style and I have mine on one. And then you're going to click add filter. And the first thing you're going to choose is details. And under details, you're going to want to copy these settings right here. We got sharpen at 10%, clarity at 29%, HDR toning at 29%, and then bloom at 0%. Once you're done with details, you can minimize that. Then click add filter again and add brightness and contrast. Now under the drop down menu for brightness and contrast, you're going to want to have exposure set to zero, contrast set to 21%, highlight set to zero, and shadow set to negative 80% and then leave gamma at 0%. And then once again, we're just going to minimize that, add another filter, and this time it's going to be color. And under color, you're going to set tint color and tint intensity down to 0%. 
temperature down to negative 5.5% and then vibrance up to 20.6%. Now I should make a quick note that these numbers don't gotta be exact because when you drag these around, you just, you can't get it exact even with the arrow keys. So if you're like a percent or two off, it's really not gonna make that big of a difference. It's pretty much gonna look the same. So if you're getting frustrated with that, just don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. And then when you're done adding all these settings in, just click done in the bottom left and you're all good to go so let me know down in the comments if you guys are trying out this filter or not let me know what you guys think of it and if you do have any questions i do stream monday through friday mornings over on twitch link is in the description and if this video helped you at all please drop a like and subscribe if you're new it helps me out a lot and i'll see you guys in the next video here's the web peace